My dear friends, the uh, blessing and challenge in serving a synagogue as large as this one in a Jewish community as small as Memphis's is, is our distance from larger Jewish population centers where lots of reform rabbinic resources and Jewish educators are found. You have to go four and a half hours north to get to St. Louis, five and a half hours south to get to New Orleans. Nashville, of course, three hours east, no larger than the Memphis Jewish community. You have to go as far west as Denver to reach a larger Jewish community than here or synagogue like this. So around the year 2000, I met with Dr. Joe Levy about training to become what the Hebrew Union College in Cincinnati, before it was shuttered, um, called para-rabbis for synagogues. The others in Dr. Joe Levy's cohort were also reform lay leaders who believed in the future of synagogues, the heterogeneous communities they create, the attachments that are formed from generation to generation. I believed then and believe now with all due respect to the importance of other Jewish institutions that without synagogues strong, Judaism will suffer. And the scarcity of rabbis cried out and still cries out for effective lay teachers following the path of Leo Bierman of blessed memory and other notable temple teachers, including the next generation as Sally Rosenberg and Judy Bierman have modeled. But tonight, this child of Temple Israel, who became a respected pediatrician and allergist for all ages, was no stranger to Judaism or this temple after entering the world on January 9th, 1941. Look at whose bar mitzvah it was in 1954, at a time when Reform synagogues emphasized confirmation, Joe Simon Levy had his bar mitzvah. Now, 1954, by the way, before we move on, was Dr. Edelson's last year, and you'll see Joe continued on with Rabbi Wax in the confirmation class of 1957. There he is. 12 years later, in the summer of 69, uh, there's the picture of the class, by the way. Um, I think that's him. That was 1957. 12 years later, in the summer of 69, Joe hit the jackpot in marrying Myrna Jean Omel, the rabbi of their ceremony at Beth Shalom, was the legendary Shoah survivor and moral conscience, Rabbi Ari Becker of Blessed Memory. So let's fast forward now to my earliest years as senior rabbi from 2000 on, when Joe became the constant Jewish teacher as 12 rabbis and educators moved through Memphis and left for Chicago, LA, New York, NOLA, uh, Massachusetts, Florida. Joe Levy continued teaching. Here's just a sample, 2002, three, four, all these subjects, 2005, we're gonna see, and seven, and 2008, we'll get there. 2012, every year. Thank God for the Jewish archives, Jen Kolath, our chief archivist. This is just a sampling of what we found. Remarkable. Throughout COVID even, as we get to 2015 and 16 and 17. Even to last Sunday's launch of his newest class on King David. Now speaking of King David, you remember when you were young and either in Jeannie Danziger or Toba Kornberg or Jeannie Alpert's class and we learned David, Melech Israel, 
Chai, chai, right? You know what that means? Long live King David, who is the ascribed writer of the book of Psalms, where it is written in Psalm 90, Yemei shenotenu vahem shivim shana, the span of our life is 70 years? Ve'im vigvurot shmonim shana, or if we're given strength, 80 years? And when a Jewish man or woman reaches King David's lifespan of 70, plus the traditional bar bat mitzvah age of 13, as Joe has reached that milestone this week, 83, one can celebrate a second bar mitzvah and be called to the Torah for honor. I planned this night with Joe not because he wanted this honor, but because he brings every member of Temple Israel and the Jewish community honor. That is why tonight's preneg reception was sponsored by the rabbis who thank you for all your teachings. We are not only your rabbis and teachers, we are also your students. The Levy family in the generations before Joe and his and Myrna's children and grandchildren in the front row make it a high honor to serve this congregation. And what better place than the Stanziger Chapel facing the same ark and eternal light from the old temple building at Poplar Montgomery that Joe Simon Levy faced as a bar mitzvah and confirmant. I have asked Joe to chant Torah and share Torah on this anniversary of his and my own bar mitzvah. And as I told Joe during our rehearsal this week, I can only hope to be as vital and alive to celebrate my second bar mitzvah in 22 years as Joe is doing tonight. Please rise as we remove the scrolls from the ark. 